Well, uh, it's a subject that you've discussed previously. It's about black holes. That's right. Uh, I know there's a lot of um, controversy about the exact nature of them, but we know that black holes absorb light. But er as everything has a negative and a positive image, uh, if, are there, could there be such things as white holes which emanate light in the same way as black holes absorb light? This is the white hole in which we are breathing and living. We call the sun is radiating light. <laughs> See, but what you are talking about perhaps is something else. And that is something which creates a very intriguing possibility. If the black hole absorbs matter as such, there is matter and antimatter. Mm. And some scientists believe that the ma this mass of matter is exactly the same as the mass of antimatter. As long as they are kept apart at safe distances, they remain you know, in existence. When they are brought together, they disappear into nothingness. So this is what may have happened in the, in the, in the what may ultimately happen in the black hole. Black hole, I'm sorry. The black hole cannot attract masses from such long distances as hundreds of thousands of years of light. Uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of years, light years. Yet it does. When it grows extremely powerful, it engulfs, it swallows everything. Even at meteoric distances, like many million years away. That is how ultimately the uh, the black hole which would appear at the end of the time will have everything swallowed and dissolved into it. That can only happen if its gravitational pull is out of proportion, bigger and uh, more powerful than the planets around. The bigger it grows, the more it eats the more gigantic it becomes. So a dwarfish giant is born out of the black hole which begins his journey from by, by eating and consuming the things around at short distances. Mm. Then as it grows larger and smaller, larger in strength and smaller in size, it seizes upon itself. It's, it plays upon even such distant stars to which it cannot reach before. So that is how the vacuum around is, bigger and bigger vacuum is created. And uh, anything which just passes through is immediately pulled back, pulled into it. Now this can happen if there is enough mass within the black hole, whether we see it or not. Because without mass, it could not detect anything. Mm. Now the question which I, arises and which I am pointing out is that if it also absorbs antimatter, then the moment it begins to absorb, the matter within should be negated and equated so completely that uh, it, it should disappear. Right. You see? It loses its power as That's well. Right. Okay. So the black hole should begin to melt away the moment it begins to suck the antimatter as well. And ultimately what we knew as universe would be an equation of zero is equal to zero. No more. And that is another very important issue which has to be discussed and scientists are taking it up as to whether creation can be made out of nothing, out of nothingness. Now my concept of creation is that the secret lies in the poles, in the opposite number. And some scientists have already succeeded in creating 
uh, some some subatomic, extremely minute particles which have no mass. Out of nothing, just by creating poles. Have no mass. No mass. Mm. The poles are created, and with the pole they come into being. Mm. The only way you can see them is by electric charge. Isn't it? Well, electric charge is a very, very crude term to to to, to apply mm. to that. I am talking of such minute things, mm. which can only be re reached through mathematics, not through any electronic other means. You work it out mathematically, and you know that it must have happened. It has happened. Otherwise, it's impossible. So, what I am talking about is that about black holes, there are some very intriguing possibilities which are developing and are being discussed by the scientists. One is this, not this, but the others, this is mine, that maybe now we understand the process of creation. The will of God creates two ends, and the sum total of the two ends remains zero. See, <laughs> and it both show physical forms of existence, but the just the will of God manifested in a way that they form take the physical form, while the zero remains zero. Outside God, there is nothing but zero. So you bring them together, fuse them together, and they. Vanish. So similarly, maybe either the black hole itself begins to dissolve and diminute gradually, become smaller and smaller gradually, by absorbing antimatter as well. Or maybe there are two types of black holes: some made of antimatter and some of matter, and they are kept at a distance. And uh, if God desires to bring everything to the not, absolute not. Then they are, they may be they are permitted to come back uh, to to fuse together. But the other interesting possibilities, which are really being discussed through uh, the imagination of more dimensions. We know three di dimensions or four dimensions. But scientists are mathematically producing the possibilities, logical possibilities of creating more dimensions. Even they have worked up to fourteen dimensions. It's absolutely mind-boggling to conceive that fourteen-dimension thing. But with mathematics, no problem. You know, on the right, on the white paper and with a pencil, you can do things. <laughs> so, if they. Now the point which I want to to raise is is specifically this: some mathematicians who worked on these possibilities, they believe that it is just possible that the black hole is just really a hole to a new world, opening into a new sort of universe with different dimensions. So they sink here and rise there. Like the sun sets here and rises at another place, so there is no nothingness according to them. It's only a change of form or dimensions. So the universe which sinks here disappears in a new form, in new dimensions, in the same space, not in a different space, but the whole is is so. Complicated for ordinary mind to imagine that one can't conceive how can it happen that in the same space it sinks and reappears. But they point out that change the dimensions and things disappear to you. A parallel universe. A parallel universe in the same place. Mm. What we know as space mm. or time space. Exactly in the same time space, with new dimensions, a new creation is made. So one finishes and the other appears. This is only the scientific game. 
you know, they enjoy their mathematical games and this and that. The Holy Quran is very specific on this. It does not support this view. The Holy Quran says that when Allah wills, Allah brings the matter close like wrapping up a sheet of paper around one's hand. And everything, the whole universe will be wrapped up around Allah's hand. The words hand, hands are used, but uh, you know the meaning is, of course, not the hand like mine. So everything is wrapped up and disappears. Like we created for the... Uh, and this is a process, God says, which would be repeated again and again. Like we created the universe for the first time, we, we shall recreate it after bringing it to nothingness. And the manner in which, the, the, or manner or the way it is brought to nothingness is exactly the picture of black hole in formation. Uh, this is the most intriguing part. One is amazed at the Quran description. The like of it is not found in any other divine work. Impossible. Search far and wide. These are the statements which stand out in, in their uniqueness. And the reason is that this was the book which had to remain operative till the end of the time. So all that man had discovered or man had developed enough to perceive had to be somehow mentioned in the Quran, otherwise people would say it's a book of the past. Mm -hmm. So this is the issue which we are discussing, which proves that the Holy Quran is not a book of the past. It is still valid and will continue to remain valid because the other thing, the references which I can't understand as present, and I know they have to be understood later on by the man of the future. So this is one of the things which we do understand now. The Holy Quran says that a time would come when matriyatum be yamina because the whole universe would be wound round on the right hand. Then it says that we will uh, pack it up like the scribes of old used to pack up all they had written on and all their scrolls and finish them. Then it says that the universe, the Holy Quran says at another place, the universe was shut like a ball. Nothing escaped it. Kanata Ratkan the heavens and the earth was just one small packed up ball which as if was sewn around in a manner that nothing could escape from it. And then he says, فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا We rent them asunder and created both heaven and earth by that act of breaking it open. Now, show me anywhere in the world where any philosopher or any religious book had mentioned such a thing. Now, this is exactly the Big Bang description which we read in, 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 the, in the scientific books, and the phys in physics in particular. What branch of physics is that called? Which Particle is which? physics? Huh? Particle physics? No, no. Oh. This black hole and geophysics? No. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Astrophysics. 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 Maybe, yeah, yes, that's right. So, they, the image of black hole which we have learned from them is exactly that it, it shuts everything, <coughs> closes everything, nothing can escape. Then God would break it open, is the verdict of the Quran. And then another verdict is, that everything was like uh, a, like smoke yes. and then we condensed it and out of that smoke were born the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. Now this is the second phase after the Big Bang. Yeah. 
You see, the gaseous state which appears, which follows the Big Bang, is also described by the Quran. So, that was the last verse which I quoted first. How will it come to an end again? Now, according to the scientists, when the accretion from the, uh, from the space around begins to fall or being pulled by the gravitational, immense gravitational pull of the black hole, it begins to approach the speed of light. Mm -hmm. And because no matter can reach the speed of light, or uh, if it becomes closer, cannot retain its form as it, it, it has, so grotesque things begin to happen. And according to the scientists, as it gets closer, it becomes pressed into a sheet. Imagine the Quranic description and the description of the scientists, what happens as the matter approaches the black hole. And they say it gets compressed into sheet-like things. And because the black hole is revolving, as it disappears into the black hole, before that it gets wrapped round. That's all we know. <laughs> what happens later on, nobody knows. Now this description is, of the Quran is so precise, so precisely applicable to what the scientists have discovered, that if there is no other proof of the existence of God, this should be enough. Unbelie unthinkable for a man of that age, however educated he might have been, to think in, the term, in these terms of the universe, the beginning and the ending and so on and so forth. Well, the prophet who told us these things was one of the illiterate, according to the Quran. While the sum total of the whole educated world, uh, uh, mankind of that period, could not have conceived together this thing. It's impossible. Yet a man from the desert of Arabia gets up and says, I am being told by God this and that and that. And he himself perhaps cannot fully, com fully comprehend. Allah knows best, but he knows this is the word of God. And strange it is that nobody raised questions and eyebrows as to what this may meant. They thought maybe it would happen one day like like this thing, the resurrection would take place, but not but before the resurrection, doomsday would, would take place. But how could they interpret these verses together in relation to each other? Because the concept of the people at the time of Hazrat Muhammad was that once the doomsday occurs, then we go to another world. And that world is indestructible. It never repeats itself. And according to the Holy Quran, this is the image. This is the clear picture given. But what the, why did they not wonder as to what the Quran was saying here? It said, we go on destroying and repeating, destroying and repeating. So obviously, this applied to the physical existence of the universe the Holy Quran was talking about. Because uh, hereafter is a different thing. According, according to the Holy Quran, we can't even imagine what forms and what shapes will take or will, will be given to us after we open up our eyes in the new world. So they are two different things. But Allah let, did not permit them to even think of such objections against this statement because this statement is so enlightening today, but was so objectionable at the time of civilization. So this is also a miracle that nobody thought of it, nobody understood, nobody said, all right, things beyond us, let's forget about it.